Hey Digifans, it's Dom here again, teaching you how to go from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. This video is all about making your own book cover. You're going to become artists today. Lots of you will be reading furiously or listening to audiobooks. There's loads of free ones out there at the moment. Um, and this is all about you taking your favorite book and making your own book cover, not the author's, not an illustrator's, your own book cover using Adobe Spark Post. So if you're using a tablet or a phone, download Adobe Spark Post for free. If you're on a laptop or desktop, just go to spark.adobe.com. Now I'm using my laptop here. Uh, if you're using the app, just, you know, you can download that and it looks slightly different, but generally it all goes the same way. So I'm going to press plus here. I'm going to say create a collage. So my book is going to be Watership Down, and it's about a family of rabbits. One particular rabbit is um, what's kind of the lead character is called Fiverr. Now, F Fiverr convinces his family and friends that they need to move away because something terrible is going to happen in the warren where they live. Now, when they go on their kind of um, adventure and leave the warren, they get into all sorts of trouble. One of the dangers they experience along the way is uh, they get into trouble with some like hunting dogs and they get shot at as well by a man with a rifle. So, so I've got my rabbit, if you'll see here, and I've got my hunting dog and man, if you can see there. They also get into terrible trouble with a fox. Now there's all sorts of different fox pictures here and I really like this one. And then the final thing is I'm gonna find a picture of a hawk because that is another animal that they have terrible trouble with. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for this blue one. I like that one. Now you can see I've got my one, two, three, four images. I'm gonna click next. Now, I select the size. Now, I, I'm gonna do a book cover, so generally books are printed. So I'm gonna go for a print one and just go for an A5. A5 is half of the size of an A4 piece of paper, which is typically the size of paper that you're gonna use in school. So that is a pretty good size for the book. So uh, now what you'll see is it puts it into a kind of layout here. Now I want my layout to be a bit different. So I'm gonna select layout uh, and you can have a look at all sorts of different layouts down here. And I think the one I'm gonna go for is this one. Now what you'll see is that it's kind of randomly chosen where the different images should be. Now I want my rabbit to go into this square. So I'm just clicking and dragging it does it automatically. I want this eagle to be in the center. So I'm going to drag it into there. And within each frame, you can also click and drag the image to be in exactly the perfect place that you want it to be. The one, the, if you look at this hunting one up here, now I can't see the man and the dog. So I'm just going to move that into the middle. And also you can change the scale here. So I've just moved that down slightly so I can see both. Okay. I like this fox. Now some text is missing. I'm going to add text. Now, you can use all sorts of different templates here. I'm just gonna start from scratch just so you can see how it's done. And the book is called Watership Down. Now, I'm gonna bring that down just by clicking and dragging it. Now, what you'll see here is if I select it and then go to Style, I can move this wheel around and it will give me all sorts of different options. I like that one. Now, uh, text effects. Well, maybe I'll, what I'll do here is get it all on one line. Make it a bit bigger maybe just by dragging the corners there. Nice. I like the way that looks. Now also I need to put in who the author is. So I'm going to use the text again. Now this time I am going to use one of the templates. Uh, I'm going to go to here uh, and then I'm going to put by Richard Adams. Okay, done. Now uh, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little arrow at the bottom here to square this up. But what I also want to do is use this to just make it slightly smaller there maybe uh now also i want to change the color on this so you've got all these suggested colors check out what i'm going to do here i'm going to select that i'm going to flip the colors by pressing that little arrow thing i'm going to change the color by clicking here and i'm going to select like an orangey color like that i like it uh now one of the things i'm going to do is i'm going to put in a quote i think i'm going to add my own text okay now, uh, what I want to do is I want to go to uh, text effects here. Oh, is it? No, I want to go to shape. And the one I'm going to go for, I think, is this one. Now, one of the things you might be saying, well, you can't really see that properly. And I would completely agree with you. So I'm going to go to color uh, and I'm going to 
go back to the same colors that I've got at the bottom here. You'll see in my by Richard Adams. Uh, maybe I'll flip that. Nice. Now the you, it means you've got these little um, sort of laurel wreaths around here showing that it's kind of a quote by somebody important. And then you've got the text in the middle here. I'm going to go to back to text effect and I'm going to say uh, maybe you can change things like the distance so that you can you might not be able to see on the screen here, but it's making the text stand out just a little bit more than it did before. Nice. Now you'll see that it's much, much easier to read. Uh, the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put another little bit of text on. One of the things which you might have seen in a bookshop is that sometimes books have little stickers on just saying, oh, you know, this was uh, by a best-selling author or whatever it is. Uh, so I'm going to put on here number one bestseller. Uh, again, I want to keep to my color theme. So I'm going to select that, go to color. That's my suggested color. Like it. Uh, I also think that's a bit big. I'm also going to flip the text so it looks like somebody's just randomly stuck that sticker on there. Isn't that cool? I really like that book cover. I'm actually really, really pleased with it. If you wanted to change the title here, you can you could go to style and you could just play around with it until you find something you like. Nice. Maybe I'll go with that one. Yeah, I like it. And as always, at the end, download it just to your computer. You can select any one of these types uh, or you can go to share and you can publish it. So like if you want to share it with your friends and say, hey, have a look at my book cover, you might want to send it to your teacher, in which case you create a link and you can just copy that and you can email it to them. You can invite your teacher to actually show you um, to show your teacher. So teacher, something like that. You know, you can do that if they're using Spark. That's how you produce your own book cover. I hope you enjoyed that video, Digifans. As always, I demand to see your work. So please do share it with me using the hashtag Digidom or find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer, so I can give you a round of applause digitally and also share your work with a larger audience. Um, as always, if you want to get these videos as soon as they come out, uh, please subscribe so that you get them as soon as they come out. Simple as that. Okay, so uh, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.